over here. Hey, Tony, this is Jake. I'm going to do my calibration for my pH meter here. Got my little step through sheet here. I have two pH solutions created from these omega buffer capsules. This, well, supposed to be red solution is a pH of 4, and the blue solution has a pH of 10. I'm going to use that for my two test points to calibrate my instrument. First thing I'm going to do is push the hold key twice to get into calibration mode. After I get into calibration mode, I am going to place my pH meter in the first buffer. This has a pH of 4, so hopefully my meter goes down to around 4, if it's properly calibrated already. Once I have it in there, I push the cal key once to tell it what pH this is. I know from these omega buffer capsules this is supposed to be a pH of 4 and from that information I will calibrate it to that and so I'll enter a 4 here and push enter. Now calculated my first buffer zone. I'm going to clean the rod off and place it in the second buffer zone. Push the calibration key again. And I'm going to tell the machine this is a pH of 10. I'm going to push enter once. And after doing that, I have told it its upper, excuse me, I've told it two test points, and from there I can calculate the rest of the values. And that's that. It's so calibrated. You test it now. Yeah, I'll put it, I'll test it, I'll put it back in the pH of 4 and hopefully it registers 4. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to make it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> A little further. That's pretty good right there. That's pretty close. That's oh, pretty much dead on there. Dead on. I'll clean it off and put it back in the pH of 10. and it zooms up to 10. Wow. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any other pH solutions to test of any known concentrations. Great job, Jake.